Hello YouTubers, I'm Grace Farrell and we're the 86th floor. Now we've been really excited about this video for ages because we're working with our very good friend Barry Nugent from the legendary Geek Syndicate. Now Barry's one of the most knowledgeable geeks this side of the Atlantic and today, together, we're bringing you a countdown of our favourite evil overlords of all time. Barry, over to you mate. So let's get this evil party started with my number 10 pick, Han from Enter the Dragon. Han basically ran the island and he ran this sort of martial arts tournament and at the same time he was smuggling opium on the side. He wasn't necessarily trying to take over the world so much. I mean, the guy had his island and he was happy with the island to be honest until Bruce Lee and John Saxon and Jim Kelly turned up to mess his plans up. But the reason that I've picked this guy is <laughs> the last fight in that film between him and Bruce Lee was, was just great because there's no way that he should have lasted more than five seconds with Bruce Lee. But what I loved about this guy was like, he had um, he had a hand which he could pull off and replace with different attachments. And through the, <laughs> through the fight scene at the end, he puts on these different attachments. And it's the fact that he has a bear claw. And it's the fact that the guy actually has fake, fake bear fur on it because why wouldn't you? And then he switches that up to like something that looks like a food processor. I don't know, some five bladed thing. Um, and he was great. I thought he was a bullet villain. Not necessarily the most serious villain in the world, but he had great dress sense. He had that sort of brown high collar jacket that was later popularized by Blofeld. So I'm liking your look, Han. You were a stylish villain. <laughs> At number 9 we have Harry Potter's arch enemy, Lord Voldemort. Starting as an orphan at Hogwarts, you know who grew up to be the most feared and evil man in the wizarding world. After his own curse backfired on him, Voldemort spent two decades trying to regain power and rule not just the wizarding world, but the muggle world as well. In order to achieve this goal, he split his soul seven times using the dark art of Horcruxes. Now that's determination. Hello YouTubers, did you know that Wednesday is an extremely important